In today's video, we'll be going over how to install the Cloud IPS kit in your Nintendo Game Boy Advance. This video will assume that you have already followed our disassembly guide. A link to that can be found in the description. The first thing that we're going to do is dry test the screen to ensure that it works and there is no damage. To do this, we're going to begin by connecting the IPS display to its control board. Then, we are going to connect the flex cable to your console, either 32 pin or 40 pin. Once we have the main motherboard connected, we can fold the screen over and insert the console into the bottom half of the shell. Now all we have to do is input batteries and flick the power switch. Once we verify that the screen works, we can begin assembling the console. To begin, we can put the two positioning pieces at the bottom corners of the screen window as shown. The screen just sits above these two pieces. From here, we can begin putting all the buttons and their membranes back into place. Before we finish inserting the console into the top half of the shell, we recommend taking a small piece of the adhesive and cutting a square out of it to act as a shield between the touch sensor and the rest of the flex cable. Insert that piece of adhesive in between the touch and the flex cable and you can complete your reassembly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe and check out our wiki in the description.